As it did to the great Muhammad Ali, Parkinson's disease slowly robs patients of control over their bodies. The incurable disorder threatens aging societies like Korea's, so doctors here are taking action. Our Han Sung-woo took an in-depth look into how detecting Parkinson's early could transform the way the illness is tackled. Parkinson's begins long before the first tremor. And by the time the symptoms are obvious, it's often too late to hope for any meaningful change. That's why the fight against this incurable disease depends so much on detecting symptoms early to potentially slow its progression. Professor Pyeon Sun Jung from the Catholic University of Korea, Uyjeongbu St. Mary's Hospital, has filed a patent application for a unique way to accomplish that. AI-based analysis of the gait or walk of someone at high risk using an insertable shoe sole with sensors. Data from 75 people with Parkinsonian symptoms along with 82 healthy individuals without symptoms for a grand total of nearly 8,700 steps, all with their own diverse gait indicators, were incorporated into the algorithm I developed. Pyeon says it boasts a 98.1% accuracy rate in differentiating between healthy older adults and those suffering from Parkinsonian symptoms, and an 83.2% accuracy rate in distinguishing whether those symptoms are vascular or neurodegenerative. The results fuel hopes that gait analysis could drastically save patients' medical bills by eliminating the need for brain scans until when they become absolutely necessary. Differentiating between these patients using conventional methods is quite a struggle. It's practically impossible for doctors to run MRIs or PET scans on them every time the need arises. Without even knowing I had Parkinson's, I had MRI scans on my brain, neck and waist. And the one for my brain cost me nearly $1,200. According to research done by Professor Lee ji -young at the Seoul National University Borame Medical Center, Parkinson's may one day also be detected by observing structural changes in the retina. E, along with several co-authors, recently published the work in Nature Reviews Neurology, writing that the progressive thinning of the retina in certain areas provides potential biomarkers for early diagnosis. The orthodox theory is that in the end, the layer of optic nerves known as the ganglion cell complex shrinks to the point that its total thickness is greatly reduced. Clinically speaking, the thinning correlates with how severe the Parkinsonian symptoms are. She believes that retinal imaging will eventually offer a safe and scientifically significant solution to the over-reliance on brain scans. Commercializing the method would give prospective patients a non-invasive and radiation-free way to detect the disease. For the medical community, it would signify a tremendous advance in health science, the confirmation of a pathophysiological mechanism between the retina and the brain. Korea has one of the world's fastest aging populations, and with longer life expectancy, Parkinson's will only become more common making early detection of the disease vital for more sustainable long-term care. Han Sung-woo, Arirang News.